What's up Paradise Crew? In this vlog, we're gonna show everyone a couple of things you can do in Juneau, Alaska. Whether it's going on a whale watching tour or exploring the Mendehal Glacier and eating fresh grilled salmon, this episode is packed with adventure. We even got to roast some marshmallows by a waterfall, which is pretty cool. So, if you love cruising, please consider subscribing to our channel. It's absolutely free. And let's jump right into this episode, Ovation of the Seas, Things to Do in Juneau, Alaska. Good morning, Paradise Crew. What's up, everybody? Today is day three. We are about to go to the solarium. <laughs> um, we are supposed to be cruising through the inside passage this morning. So one, we wanted to take a photo in the solarium. Not sure how crowded it's going to be in there because since we are cruising through the inside passage, a lot of people will probably want to see that. And that's going to be one of the warmest places to see that. So we are hoping that it won't be super crowded, at least not yet. And then we're gonna get breakfast in the Slayer and Bistro because it's right there. Um, so yeah, I'm, I can't wait to see what the inside passage looks I like. I don't know what to, to expect, to be honest with you. So I hope they deliver, so. I hope Alaska and the wildlife delivers. Delivers. Hope it's not under-promised. Over-promised? Under-promised. Yeah, but under. you said you hope it's not. Oh. Wouldn't it be hope it's not over-promised? Because over then they, they would under-deliver. Yeah, there it is. That. That. All right. So we are on our way up to deck 14. We're on deck 7. You want to take the elevator? Yes. I figured. Um, we are... One, one note. I feel like most of the ships have... We're going up. Um... Most of the ships have three sets of stairs and or elevators, and this ship only has two. So considering how large it is, I find that very interesting. Um, this one over here, babe. I mean, the elevators are fairly large. They have three on the inside and three on the outside, but still, yeah, it's, um, I thought they'd have three, and that's kind of what's throwing me off because usually there's a you know, forward, mid, and, and aft section, and it's really just two. This way. Got great sales going on for the Alaska merch. Two for 20 tees. We got some gloves, some hats, some socks, two for 20 accessories. Oh, those are nice. 50% off Alaska apparel. So, that's a pretty good deal. Originally $72. Those look warm. Looks like this is, the this is really yeah. nice. Large. Medium, large, and, and then these are still 40 reversible, which are all also very nice. But I might need one. Yeah. Um, um. I mean, I I do need one. Um, the issue is our suitcase and our luggage on the way back. We're already probably overweight for spirit, so trying to get everything one packed and um, into where we don't have to pay over wake fees. I might wear the jacket. You'd have to wear all your jackets. Wear, wear all my jackets. On the way home, we're just gonna wear all the jackets. And then just take them off. Or we, we can risk it. <laughs> well, I mean, it is, it is chilly, so I'm wearing a long sleeves and a light jacket right now. I'll probably wear two long sleeves and two jackets yeah. and my beanie. Um, so, we'll, we'll see how cold I actually feel, but I low-key might need some gloves because <laughs> I definitely did not bring those. So, we came up here to get a photo in the pool, and the pool's closed. It's supposed to open at 6.30, so I'm not sure why it's not open right now, but um, we found a nice little day bed, and I grabbed breakfast at the Slayer and Bistro. Cullen's doing that now. Um, but look at all these yummy things that I have. So, egg, sausage, hash brown, Danish fruit, muesli, mushroom. Um, it's a very different selection from Cafe 270, but probably similar to what is in the Windjammer. And there's like nobody eating up here. Um, so there are definitely people starting to come and kind of claim their chairs. We have some pretty good seats. We're not right against the glass, but 
um, we can see for sure, but it is foggy because it's rainy. Um, so we might end up moving in a little bit, but right now I just see a bunch of trees, which is cool. And you can't see that at all. But they're there. Okay, so apparently there are a bunch of whales because um, everyone's screaming. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to see them for you. Um, I sent Cullen over there, but I don't know if he's going to be able to see them for you. We're going to try. But yeah, everyone's like cheering like they're dolphins. So I guess that's just as exciting. So we're going to find some whales. I got here too late. Well, we missed them. <laughs> <laughs> but we're supposed to go whale watching today, so I don't know how promising we're actually with, like, how... We'll, we'll see some whales I'm sure. eventually. Eventually. Alright guys, now we're talking. Look at that. Does that the ship look familiar to anybody? over here. <laughs> but, um, that's pretty interesting. Oh. All right, we are still chilling here in the solarium. My phone and watch finally changed. So it's um, 9.42 and we don't get there until about noon. Welcome to the gun show, yeah. Came through tripping Aquafina, I'm 715, kept a weapon on me. <laughs> but I'm enjoying a nice cup of coffee and watching all of the scenery. Um, oh, the North Star. I was like, what's up there? The North Star. So we're going to, let me talk about that for a second. The, the North Star, um, you can make reservations. And then there are also spots where you don't have to make reservations. You just go up and I guess wait in line. But there are certain times that it's like premium time to do it. And I think you have to pay for that. But all the other times you don't have to pay. But this would be one of them because we're going through the inside passage. There's lots to see, I guess. And then in a couple days when we're going through the Endicott Arms and Glacier something, um, that's also premium time. So we are doing it that day, but not necessarily during that time. So hopefully there's still going to be fun things to see. And I mean, if not, it's still going to be really cool. Um, I don't know if you can see this up here. But they go like straight up and then over on the ship and oh, I bet that's a really great view. That looks much better. Look, our, our little virtual balcony is actually showing some things. So that's pretty nice. It did glitch out on us this morning. Um, I didn't have, I didn't get the camera on in time. Um, instead of green, it just literally shut off. And it looked like it was restarting, so you know how like they have the numbers and stuff. That go. It was really funny. Well, maybe that's why I needed it. He's like, I'm restarting everything. Yeah, it was almost like it was restarting. Ooh, look, a boat. English. Yeah. Data mosh. Yeah, well, it happens. Um, it's really funny because this ship is very technologically advanced, um, which makes things really cool. But it also, um, things don't always work the way they're supposed to because that's how technology is. Um, so there are a lot of things like when we were at the Bionic Bar, it glitched out and I didn't get my right drink. And John was saying that he tried three times and it glitched out every time for him. Um, so it's a cool thing. It just doesn't necessarily work all the time. It's just interesting. We're all bundled up and ready to go. I'm getting really excited. So, um, specific tour name we are doing the best of juno it's called best of juno with shore excursions group um we are whale watching we're going to explore the mendenhall glacier and eat salmon eat salmon we have a salmon bake i think it's at the end of the tour um tour time is 1 p.m it's now like 12 ish um, the cruise director just came on to let us know that we have docked, but we've not gotten clearance yet. But we're going to try to get close enough to where we need to disembark because we have 
<coughs> they always say that you need to meet at your tour like at least 15 minutes prior. So hopefully we'll be able to get there 15 minutes prior. Yeah. Because one, I don't really know where we're going. I mean, I kind of do, but I don't know where the ship is docked in relation to where we're supposed to be going. Um, and I don't know how long it's going to take to walk there. So and we also need B-roll. <coughs> We also need b-roll i'm sure we can get b-roll on the way back if we do not get it now so we they said we're meeting at the midship and i feel like that would be this one i don't know guys they just made the announcement look at this we're in the casino we have to go all the way around and wait in this giant line to get off the ship. I mean, it's only 12.06, so we have plenty of time, but holy smokes. I've never seen... Oh my gosh, it's still going. Okay, that really didn't take that long. Um, but that line was very scary. <laughs> it's 12.14, so... They started moving. Once the line started moving, it literally just it just kept moving, which was really nice. Just scan your card and get out. Um, I think we have to go. This is really cool. Um, I think we have to go up this ramp where everyone else is going, and then down There's this, this boardwalk, okay. and we're gonna meet over there. According to this map, um, we are supposed to meet un. It's under the cables of the Mount Roberts tram. Um, so we, I think the tram is that way, so we are going to do that. It, as of right now, the weather's fairly pleasant. Yeah. Um, I think the ships and then the mountains here, have, uh, they're blocking the wind, so it's not super cold. But I think we're getting on a boat of some sort to do the whale watching. So it might get a little windy. I'm not mad about the layers that I have. But these views! Gorgeous, look at this. It's your life. Look who we found in Juno. What's up, Paradise Crew? What's up, girl? What's up? Hi. What's up? We haven't seen you at all. No. You going whale swimming? Whale swimming. Whale, whale wrestling? Whale That's wrestling. Us. All right, guys. Have fun, guys. Bye. Bye. You have fun. Uh, we're going to take a quick kind of drive through town. Show you guys all the stuff we got down here. You know, so that way you got a good idea of you know, what you have when you come back you know, later on tonight. Because the shops will still be open. They're probably going to be open until like 8 o'clock, 8.30 tonight. Oh. Yeah, so we'll just kind of <laughs> quick city loop. So we have to those kai anchors open up those windows comms open up the back guys so if you want to go out the back uh please 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 be my guest guys well, this do, is super super cool like i said have not got to see this okay so apparently there's a whale i still get to see it um it's over here on the left side of the boat it started to rain it's kind of unfortunate um but there are a bunch of other boats here too so i guess we're all waiting or stellar sea lions. And uh, the, 
The ladies are, uh, they grow up to be a petite six to eight hundred pounds. <laughs> but they're males, they can get over two thousand pounds. And uh, there is always still a sea lions in the water asking if they can join everybody on the buoy. It got a little chillier, so little I put, a, put on my scarf. Um, we are now getting back on the bus after we get up off this pier. We're going to get to see the glacier. I gotta, first, get, the I gotta get some B-roll. First hand. All right. Um, they dropped us off at the glacier. And we have a little more than an hour yeah. to explore, which is great. Um, we're going to take this walking path down here, I guess, and see what we can see. I feel like an hour is a long time because yeah. it's not warm out here. So I don't want to be outside for that long, but um, there's a visitor center here up at the top of the hill. So maybe after we come down, we might have time to go back up and warm up a little bit. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. We're gonna go down here, and if we feel up to it, we might hike a little bit on the trail. Um, maybe just to stay warm, just keep, just keep on walking. But our tour guide did say that it would probably take about 45 minutes round trip, at, probably at our casual pace. So, something to think about if we wanna just walk for 45 minutes. Hey Mark, I'm going to restroom. Okay, here's a nice little map. So if you take this Nugget Falls trail, you'll go all the way to these falls over here. And back. Alright, I'm not sure if you will be able to see this, but there are a bunch of people over by the waterfall that, that have decided whew, it's cold, um, to take that hike. Um, we are not going to do that, but there are a ton of people. I can only imagine how cold it is over there. Oh, let's see if we can see that. All the little people over by the waterfall. Um, we will probably head up to the visitor's center um, after this to check it out. Probably get a little warm. We'll probably hang out there for a little while, to be honest, if it's warmer. Your girl's cold. Guys, it's much warmer in here. Um, there's a restroom, there's a shop, there are rangers, um, there, and there are movies. So that's kind of cool. You can learn all the things about glaciers and this area. I just, I found you. There's a bathroom inside here. Awesome. This place is so cute. Um, so they just dropped us off at the Salmon Bake. There's a nice little buffet style food. There's clam chowder, there's salmon, there's other fun sides. Um, so we're gonna take a seat and then come get some food and then explore a little bit and get back on the ship. Okay guys, this food looks so good. We've got clam chowder. Got salmon with a brown sugar glaze, rice pilafs, baked beans, yes. cornbread, sand, salmon Caesar salad. So Caesar salad with like salmon pieces in it. Oh my gosh, everything smells good. I'm gonna get some hot apple cider. 
and then we're gonna eat. Okay, salmon, excellent. Had two pieces. Everything else, excellent. This is your fork. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks so confused. He's like, it's like where did what I just happened? <laughs> um, for dessert, they have blueberry cake, apparently made with real blueberries. That's important for some reason. Is it good? That's some good cake. It looks nice and fluffy. It is fluffy. And moist. So, for sure eating this. And then we can roast marshmallows over a campfire. So we're gonna do that after this too. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> we like to eat, if you cannot tell. <laughs> Guys, I am a marshmallow roasting expert. Look at these. Beautiful marshmallows. What, honey, it's a campfire. Look, check you out. I know. Bon appetit. Mm-mm. Oh, perfectly roasted. How many marshmallows have you roasted in your life? Less than 10. What? I can tell by how you're roasting them. See that little pocket down there? Right here? Yep. That's where most of the heat is. So now you gotta rotate it. Yep, because you don't want to catch it on fire. Mm-hmm. This is marshmallow roasting with Alyssa. It's like an explosion. <laughs> oh, those are pretty good. You wanna play? Yeah. Hmm? How'd you do? That's really good. You need to roast more marshmallows in our lives? Yeah, I think we need to. I guess we need to go to Pennsylvania and do a little s'more roasting <laughs> in a small town called Pittsburgh. <laughs> it's good. Union town. <laughs> She's gonna be like, oh, oh. Uh. Our last stop on this wonderful excursion is right down this trail from the Salmon Bake. There's a waterfall and I'm not sure if you can hear it. I can certainly hear it. So peaceful. Um, it is beautiful. Reminds me of home. Even the cold temperature. Serene. <laughs> Word of the day. Word of the day. <laughs> um, so we're going to check out this waterfall and then get back on a little bus to take us back to the ship. And then eat some more. <laughs> eat some more. <laughs> Not I am pretty full actually right now, but um, I planned on going to dinner anyway. See what the, they have on the menu. <laughs> we could just get dessert and coffee. That sounds good. The, I could use some royal chocolate cake and a cup of coffee. I could use some more salmon. The salmon, salmon was so good. Guys, if you like salmon, you have to do a salmon bake of some sort yeah. when you're in Alaska because this salmon is it's ridiculous. Bomb. Oh, and if you don't like seafood, they have grilled chicken and stuff there too, guys. Yeah, there was chicken. Um, apparently, you can also mine or pan for gold here. I um, think we'll pass on that for now. But this is beautiful. This might be a good shot. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, Paradise Crew, that wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed today's episode and you would like to see what we did for dinner that night after getting back on the ship, leave us a comment below on what your favorite part of today was. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's totally free and it helps us out so much. 
We also have a free Facebook group for you to join called Griffin and Alyssa's Paradise Crew. You can ask questions, what we did, or ask anybody else for advice before your next cruise. So as always, if you dig the vibes, please subscribe. And if you care, please share. And we'll see you guys in paradise next time.